okay? So you're gonna be fine. You just gotta take it. You gotta take it one day at a time. Honey, you were great, really. I'm just saying that if you want to make this a career, you need to give it more of a push. You know, get a little more mm -hmm. polished. You know? She just finished, and she won the talent show. Maybe this could wait till tomorrow. I'm just saying, she's really good. She could play with some of the greats. But if you're going to focus on talent shows and school contests, you're not going to make it to Tomorrow, con honey. Let's just wait until tomorrow. Okay. Sorry. Nice job, Haley Bird. Thanks, Mom. You sure you don't want anything? What if it hits me in the face? It won't hit you in the face. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, if you hit me in the face, we will go straight to court. My mom is a lawyer and she said that if I ever get hit in the face, we can sue you. It's good that I have insurance. Let's just try one anyway. You ready? Step in touch. Good. Step in touch. Nice. Look at that, no legal problems at all. Jennifer, you ready? Step in touch. Oh, step in touch. Excellent. Step yep. in touch. Chad. Michael! Hang on one second, kids, okay? Hey, man! What are you doing here? You didn't get my voicemail. No, I just got my phone back this morning. I got like 43 messages. You have some place we can talk? Uh, yeah. Hang on one sec, let me, let me just... Hey, kiddos, we gotta pick them up, okay? your brother and, and Kim. There was a car accident. What? Wait, man, I hate this with all my heart. They're dead? Yes. Haley? She's fine, but she was in the back seat. Oh, God. I'm really sorry, man. I hadn't seen him in over a year. We were supposed to go fishing next month. He told me about the trip. He was excited. <laughs> Haley's in my car. I couldn't get you on the phone. Okay, uh, sorry, it's a mess. Just hang on. One sec. Uh, just one sec. Let me just get this. I can sit right there, kiddo. So, uh, you're gonna be in the guest room? Uh, uh, are you hungry? Haley? Okay, well, uh, you know what? I can order a pizza in, in a little while, and, you know, if you get hungry later, you can just stick it in the microwave, or if you like it cold. Carter's gonna be home after dinner. All right, I'm just gonna... Oh, and I have tea and water. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna set the...
to dude. It's uh, 1447. Just keep it. Word? Yeah. Thanks, dude. You have a good one. Thanks. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. You got pizza and the meat look. Haley's sleeping, okay? Haley, why is she here? Well, hey, buddy, listen. We gotta be real quiet, okay? Can we talk in your room? Let's go upstairs, okay? Can I have a piece? Yeah, you can have a piece. How's school? Good. Yeah? I got a super sad Abby today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. You got an item now? Not really. Yeah. Something bad happened, buddy. Something really bad. What happened? Uncle Corey and Aunt Kim were in an accident. Are they okay? No. They died, buddy. They died? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you, too. Thank you, buddy. I got a big guy. Time for school. We want for breakfast. Cereal. Okay. Hey, remember, Haley's sleeping downstairs, okay? So. Alright, get dressed. So we're going to get to bed tonight. Okay. Can I have an icy? Yeah, you can have an icy. Yes. You want blue, purple, or orange? Purple. Do you want one? Not tonight, bud. Haley. 
Why don't you get up and get a shower and get dressed? We'll get on the road. We'll be sitting around, and then after we may probably have, we'll probably have to talk to some people. Hey, kiddo. You look nice. Yeah, you look real nice. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, So I'm just going to read this part of the will. If anything were to happen to my wife and I, and God forbid Haley was left alone, we would wish custody to go to my mother first, and in the event that she has passed, we would like for Haley to live with her Uncle Chad. If this is not feasible, alternative measures may be taken, but our wish would be that she stay with family. And Haley, I have a note that I'm to read to you now. Haley Bird. We love you very much and you've made us proud every day we have known you. Please know that we will love you forever no matter where you are. You are such a wonderful person. We are so eternally proud of you. We love you. Mom and Dad. Is that it? Michael? We should probably get on the road. You and I can talk later. Ready, Haley? Need a beer, Dad? Yeah, buddy. I need a beer. You can get a milkshake? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go check on Haley. Get your shoes on. Oh. 
Uh oh, the Thompson boys. Hey, 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 hey Mr. Joey. Hi. You got time for a couple more? You okay, Dad? Yeah. I'm okay, buddy. Dude, are you done with that already? Oh, yeah. You want anything else? Cheeseburger? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, with mustard. Ugh, you and mom and that mustard. Ugh. <laughs> Cheeseburger with mustard. All right. Do you miss her? Mom? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I'm okay. You? I'm okay. How are things with Abby? Tough. How come? I think she's too young. How old is she? Ten. Carter, give me her arm. Uh, yeah, I think so, barely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close. It's gonna be okay. Come on, boy. Are you Chad? Yes. Are you related to uh, us? I'm her uncle. Did she only take Vicodin? Uh, yes. Dosage? A seven and a half milligrams. About how many? Uh, half a bottle. Yeah. We'll take care of it. Thanks. gonna be okay. She's stabilizing fine. I bet she threw up most of it and uh, you got her here pretty quickly. If she hadn't thrown up, she would be dead. Okay, so she'll have to spend a night in the ICU and then we'll move her so she'll be asleep for a while. Thanks so much, Doc. Sure. No problem. I'm just glad we were able to get to her in time. Uh, Dr. Davis here is our psychiatric specialist, and she'll need to talk to you before you can talk to Haley. All right. Thanks again. Sure. All the best. Thanks. Mr. Thompson, I'm Dr. Casey Davis. I'm so sorry all this is happening. Thank you. Uh, this is Carter. Hi, Carter. I need to get some information from you. Okay, sure. Can you tell me what happened? Uh, yeah. Uh, he and I went for ice cream, and she was sleeping, and when I came home, she was in my room on the bed. She'd thrown up and my Vicodin was next to her and I raised her here. Try to relax. We're gonna keep her here involuntarily for the next 72 hours. That's hospital policy with suicide attempts. And you can uh, go and see her for a few minutes if you want, but I also wanna suggest that you just leave her here with us for the next 72 hours in the psych ward. She's been through quite an ordeal. Some downtime might help her recover. Okay. W would you mind watching this guy for a few minutes while I... Sure. Okay, thanks. I'll be right back, okay, buddy? It's Carter, right? Yes, ma'am. Hey, Carter. You doing okay? Yeah.
How old are you? You're going to have to start talking to anyone. Otherwise, no one can help you. It starts with just one word. Okay. I'm going to give you a break for now. You can go back to your room. I was talking with Dr. Brandon. Do you agree that we should go to the hospital for treatment to the hospital? Excuse me, Doc? Chad. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I was wondering if it would be possible for me to talk to Haley for just a minute. Uh, I thought we agreed we'd give her the time here to be by herself. We did. I just, I, I thought about it and I would love to talk to her just for a couple of minutes. If you don't think it's a good idea, I won't. I just... No. No. It's okay. For a few minutes. I promise. All right. Be right back. Okay. This way. Hey, kiddo. How you feeling? Listen, um, the doctor lady said you should have some time to yourself uh, for a couple days while you're here. Uh, and and I, I, I think you should have some time uh, for yourself. I, I, but I just, I wanted to come by and say a couple things. Uh, and then I'll leave you alone. Uh, the first thing is, is that um, uh, I, I, uh, I fixed up your bedroom. I, I think it's nice. Um, it's a little smaller than probably you're used to, but... Uh, and, and the second thing is, is that I talked to my boss, Alan, and he said that I, I could come in at nine on some mornings. And so, uh, you know, so I can take you to school. Uh, or, or if you want to start school, you don't have to when, when you're ready. Uh, uh, or we could just have breakfast or... Um, and the last thing is, is I'm really sorry that I let that happen to you last night. I should have been watching you. Your dad would not be happy with me. Um, and, and one more thing. Uh, I really miss your dad and your mom, of course. I, 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 uh, I, and I, you know, I know that I, I haven't been the best uncle and, you know, I was just thinking about how you must feel lost and alone and, and all that and then some and, I, you know, I, I know you don't know me that well. I just thought that if you and me if we had somebody that we love so much in common, you know, that maybe we have some other stuff in common too, you know, and, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to tell you to move on or get over it or anything like that. I, I just want you to know that I miss him too. Okay, 
Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, so, so I'll I'll pick you up on Thursday, Haley Bird. Okay. I'll see you Thursday. That's Max. She doesn't talk to anybody. She was raped and then slit her wrists, but her sister found her in time. It probably quieted down a bit too after that. What happened to you? You don't have to tell me. What? What happened to you? Did life really get that bad? My parents died in a car, right? I'm sorry. Are you going to a foster home? No, my uncle's. That's good that you have him. Yeah. What? Nothing. Well, he's someone. At least someone cares. How do you know? He was the guy here yesterday. I saw his face. I'm happy you survived. And you go home tomorrow, right? I have two more months here. I burned down a house. Whoops. It's a really important time for her. She's got to push through and get things moving in her life again. School, et cetera. Does she have any hobbies? Uh, yeah, she plays the piano. Okay, good. We've started her on this. Make sure she continues to take it at home. It's gonna help with her stress and anxiety response. Sounds good. And here's my emergency contact and a prescription for six months of refills. Okay. Okay, why don't you go get her? Oh, I, uh, 
I got that for you. Uh, you don't have to play it or anything. I just, in case you want to. Um, look, I, I know it's quick, but I think it'd be a good idea for us just both to get things in gear, you know? I'll let you get settled, you know? You start school day after tomorrow. And we can go get something to eat in a little while. Are you going to be okay here for a bit? Okay, um, take your time. I'll let you. All right, what do you want? You want a cheeseburger? You want a hot dog? Hey, welcome to Burley's Grill. My name is Patricia. Would you guys like to try our new crawfish special today? No, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then what can I get you guys to drink? Uh, sweet tea with lemon here. Okay. What do you want? You want a soda or a sweet tea or water? Just water for her? Okay, I'll be right back with your guys' drinks. Thank you. What is a crawfish? You wouldn't like it. It's good to see you eat, kiddo. Does it eat? What? Does it crawl? You want to roll? Yeah. Can't sleep. Me either. Come on, let's get something to drink. Come on. Text me for anything, anytime. I I'll check it all day. Started, I want to introduce Haley. She just moved here from Maryland. So give her a nice welcome and don't be all clicky. Okay? Open your books. Let's finish up proof we were working on yesterday. All right, who thinks you got it? Right here. And it's just Mika. I got it. Louise? Yeah, right here. Yeah? All right, why don't you come up and put up on a board?
What do you want to drink? Fruit punch. Okay. Okay, will you go tell Haley dinner's almost ready? Be done in a minute. Okay. She'll be down in a minute. Okay, here's your fruit punch. Go grab a seat, okay? Dinner. You okay? Yeah. Okay, come on, let's eat. You thinking about playing that thing? Come on, let's eat. If it's edible. It's a uh, pizza casserole. Is it okay? It's fine. You, buddy? Mm, it's okay. He makes it all the time. I do not. <gasps> Good catch, buddy. Thanks. Need to wash your hands? Yeah. All right. He uses soap. That's a thought. What? Good catch. Oh, yeah. He did. We've been saying that since we were kids. Hey, did he do the thing where he popped his wrist like... <laughs> <laughs> So how's school? It's okay. Making any friends? Not really. You playing the piano? Nope. Why not? Come on. Try me. Can we talk about something else, please? Sure. How's your uncle doing? Fine. How are your flashbacks? They're flashbacks, how do you think? I imagine they'd suck pretty bad. Why don't you tell me about them? I like your top. A little warm for long sleeves, though. Are you hurting yourself? What? Pinching, cutting. Let's work on some more productive strategies rather than hurting yourself. Maybe we'll start with some breathing exercises.
Whoa, kid. What are you doing, huh? Sorry. It's it's okay. Just don't move. Don't. Are you sleeping? Not really. Because of me? No. Let's get some air. Tense as yours are, though. I keep waking up in the wreck. Yeah, I bet you do. I don't know how to get it out of my head. Is that piano freaking you out? Want me to get rid of it? I don't know. Well, if you want me to get rid of it, just say so, okay? Okay. Your dad said you're getting pretty dang good. Yeah. Why did my mom not like you? I don't know. How old are you? 39. Why'd your wife leave you? You're not beating around the bush, are you? She went a different direction, I guess. Teaching pro wasn't enough, and being married was too much. What does that mean? Uh, when I stopped competing and I started teaching, kind of changed who I was to her, you know? I, mean, I don't think she liked it. After Carter was born, there was all this stress, and I don't, I don't think she wanted to be a mom. You ever wanted to do anything other than tennis? Like what? I don't know. Your mom was really good on that piano, huh? Yeah. My mom didn't want me to be a tennis pro. Why? She thought it'd be a hard life. But you know, everything's hard in one form or another. And if you love it, you love it. What do you love about it? I like to see people get to do things they didn't think they could do. I like to help people find out that they're stronger than they think they are. Not really about the tennis anymore.
help you. Sorry. I'm Taylor. Haley. You knew her? Yeah. Where'd you move from? Maryland. Where'd you move here? My parents died in a car wreck, so I moved in with my uncle, okay? Got it. some stuff? Sure. What do you need? Um, girl stuff? Oh, um, uh, uh, sure. Uh, sorry, I didn't even think about it. Uh, Carter has never needed any stuff like that, obviously. It's okay. I just have to get a couple of things. Sure, sure. Um, I know. Uh, sit down. Chad, you must be Haley. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Do you want to come in? Well, actually, uh, I have a favor to ask you. Go. Haley needs some feminine things, and I thought I'd better she... Say no more. Come on in, Haley. We'll go and get you fixed up. Kiddo, I'd love to hear it. Can you leave me alone right now, please? Okay. But I think if you play, it'd be good for you. I'm glad you think you know what's good for me. Hey, I'm not trying to push you. I just think... I don't need a therapy session right now. Yeah. You just avoid everything you care about because it's hard. You're such a great parent, Uncle Chad. I see why they gave me to you. Listen, you walk around with this ball of pain inside of you, and then all you do is add to it because you don't want to deal with what's really there. I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know how to get it out. Don't you think that if I knew how to get it out that I would? Don't you think that if I could just barf up the night that I saw my mom and dad lying dead in the front seat of the car that I would? I don't freaking know how to get it out, and I'd cut it out if I could, but that doesn't seem to be working! Haley, I'm sorry. I Get out! Get out! Okay, I'm sorry. Get out! You brush those teeth? I brush mine more than you brush yours. <laughs> well, I'm your dad. I'm supposed to ask. Did you do your homework? Yeah. Good man. Huckleberry. Is Haley still mad at you? I don't know. I'm sorry you had to hear all that, man. Oh, it's okay. She has a full plate. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Good night, buddy. Good night. I just want you to feel better. 
and you know sometimes I'm not doing so great myself and I think some of that came at you so I'm sorry I'm afraid to play You don't have to play right now. But, you know, at some point, you have to overcome that fear. You know, making lemonade out of lemons really sucks sometimes, but it's the only way to get through life. What? That's cliche. <laughs> yeah, it is. That doesn't make it any less true. I'm gonna get some sleep, okay? We try to do the same. I'm sorry I was such a jerk the other day. Hit it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing after school today? Nothing. You wanna go to Skinny Dip? What's that? It's your favorite place. It's kinda lame. Sure. Cool. I'll uh, see you after seven. Cool. Nice, slow mo. Good. You did? You never came here last night? Or because I just came here this Yeah. Time. No, me too. That's like my favorite show. Mm -hmm. Nice step. Nice step. Left foot, nice. Hey, kiddo, how'd you get here? Girl from school. You get to watch Carter work on his forehand. Hi, Carter. Have you ever played tennis, Haley? Hey, you ever hit a tennis ball before? Nope. Should we make her hit one? Yeah. No. Oh, come on, just hit one ball. I don't even have a racket. You can use mine. Oh, look at that. You can use his. Remember, slow and easy. Slow and easy. All right, stand on the line. Then turn face this way. Okay. Put your racket back like that? Just hit the ball. Okay. Nice. Wow, you hit it over on the first time. It's a great shot. Can I sit down now? Uh-huh. Good shot, Haley. Thanks, Carter. We'll just be a couple minutes, okay? Yep. You ready? Stepping in there. Switch those hands, goofball. You ready? Stepping on now. Good. That was better. Got some elbow. Oh, get there. <laughs> So how are you doing? I'm okay. Making new friends? Yeah, one. Nice. Guy. Girl? Haha, uh -huh, girl. She's moved around a lot, so we talked about that. Her name's Taylor. Are the meds helping? I think so, a little. That's great, Haley. You playing that piano at all? You need your help with that? No, it's fractions. It's easy. You got that from your mom. I did? Definitely. See you next week, Haley. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey, Doc. Yeah. Uh, are you single? Um. Carter wanted to know. 
Oh, Carter. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, I am. Single. I'll let him know. Okay. Bye. Could you stay in the car for a minute, okay? Why? Yeah, why, Dad? Could you stay in the car, please, okay? What are you doing here? I'm sorry to come to your place, Chad. You're but sorry? I... Haley's here, man. She's in the car with my son. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking that the kids would be. No kidding. I need to talk to you. I, I have to tell you about some things. I don't have anything to say to you, Scott. I can't believe you came here. No, you need to meet with me. I mean, when is a good time, Chad? I don't ever want to speak to you again. No, you have to promise to meet with me, or I'm coming back until you talk to me. All right. You come back tomorrow at 1 o'clock, or you're in school. Okay? That's great. Thanks, Chad. I'm just, sorry. Just leave. Who was that guy? Yeah, Dad, you look pissed. Hey, language. Where'd you hear that? Oh, sorry. Not okay. Both of you. Who was he? Just this guy who wants me to uh, join his business. He, he... What kind of business? Sales. He, he's one of these pyramid guys. I keep having to tell him to get lost. He looked familiar. I don't know why. The guy's a low life. You got a lot of homework? No. You, potty mouth? Sorry, Dad. Just don't make a habit of it, okay? Homework? I did it at the doctor's office. All right, good. All right, well, dinner's gonna be ready in about 20 minutes. Why don't you go get ready, okay? Okay. Grab some lunch. You want something? I ate already, Chad, but thanks. Got this banquet tonight. I'm slammed. How are things? Good. You know, uh, she's getting settled. How are you? I'm good. I'm rolling along. Go get some lunch. And wash that hat. <laughs> See you. What are you doing here? I came by the house, you weren't there. I'm busy, I had to work. I need to talk to you. What else could you possibly want? Cheating on my brother wasn't enough? I wanted to apologize. I don't want your apology. I don't care if you get it off your chest or not. Live with it. Chad, I really loved her. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, whoever you are, you need to get off the club property now. You're trespassing, this is a private club. Okay, I really loved her. I'm sorry. Wait. When was the last time you saw her? At the Christmas party. I swear. Take the weekend, all right? I'll get your stuff covered. Sorry. Hey, it's fine. No explanation. Sorry. I would have wanted to kill him, too. So is there anyone you might be interested in? Hey, can I use your computer? Sure. I just want to check something. Is that your mom's page? Yep. Wow, you're stronger than me. I don't think I could do that. What are you doing? Just looking through pictures. I just want to see if... What? Nothing. Who's that? 
friend of my mom's. Hm. We gotta go! Get out! I told you to knock it! And we're leaving! In a minute! How are you? Get out! Okay, let's go. Movie starts in 10. You okay? Yeah. Let's go. Finished eating? What happened to your hand? Uh, I was being a dummy at work today and I got frustrated and I punched the wall. I got in a fight. There was a man there saying things to me he shouldn't have been saying, and I was tired and I lost control. Not a good thing to do, buddy. Are you okay? Yeah. You mind if we keep this just between you and me? Sure, Dad. What did he say anyway? Well, that part I don't want to tell you because it's grown up stuff, okay? I want to get ready for bed. Okay. Okay. Hey, morning. You must be Taylor. Yep. I'm Chad. This is Carter. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys want some breakfast? What happened there? Oh, uh, I, uh, I was teaching yesterday and I slipped and I scraped it across the clay. Looks like you hit somebody. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Who was that man the other day? Uh, the guy at the door? I told you, he was, he wants me to join his business. What was his name? What? What was his name? Scott? How do you know that? Because I'm not stupid. Why was he here? He was friends with my mom, right? Hey, buddy, would you mind going back to your room just for a few minutes, just so I can talk oh, to him? No problem. Thanks. I'm just gonna stay. Okay. Stop lying to me. Not lying to you? Yes, you are. I know he was a friend of my mom's. I saw him on her Facebook page. Haley, look, there are some things, um... Uh, was she cheating on him? Hey, that's an awful thing to say. Stop lying. Where are you getting Was she? This? Go hey, wait a second. Now, just hold on. Just talk to me for a minute, Haley. Hey, we just need to talk for a second. Haley, we, we just need to talk for a second. Where are you going? Haley, where are you going? Hi, Doc. Uh, it's it's Chad. Um, I, I'm sorry to bother you on a Saturday. Uh, could you just call me back as soon as you get this? Uh, it's Chad. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Doc. 
She okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry we left. I didn't know what to do. I know. I'm sorry. I was afraid to be honest with you because I know how much you've been through already and I thought you'd never have to find out. You knew my mother was cheating on my father. Did Dad know? No. And you didn't tell him? How could you do that? I didn't know what to do. You could have told him. I didn't want to ruin their marriage. How'd you find out? It was at the Christmas party when I came up. They were... Oh my God. You knew then? How could you not tell him? It's not that simple, Haley. It is that simple. He was your brother, and if you loved him, then you... He had a kid! Haley? Maybe I should have told him. I told her if she didn't end it, I was gonna tell him. She ended it. How do you know? Because I saw that jerk yesterday. She ended it. Why was he here? Because he needs closure. What'd you tell him? I punched him. And I asked him when the last time he saw her was, and I told him never to come back. gotta let it go. Your mom loved you with all her heart. She did. And people make mistakes. I'm with you. I hate that it happened. I do. But if you hold on to it, it's just gonna stick in you like an arrow. You gotta forgive her, Haley. Otherwise, you can't move on. Please go home now. Sure. Thanks for letting us crash your house, Doc. No problem. See you next week, Haley. Thanks for listening. Sure.
Lift it up. Nice, it's fine. Good try. Stretch it out, slow-mo. Lift it. Good. Great. It's fine. Hang on one sec, Drew. Hey, uh, Joyce, do you mind if I cut out a couple minutes early? I got a, this one of my kids at no, school. I'm Friday anyway. Yeah, you sure? It's good, yeah. We'll figure it out. All right, good luck. I'll see you later. favorite song? Why don't you try? do this today. Okay? You can do it. Just breathe.
What you thinking about? Nothing. What if I told you I wanted to be a musician? I'd say it's a hard life. But if you love it, you love it. Thanks, Uncle Jack. You're welcome. What y'all guys doing? We're just talking. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. You like, what, do you bathe in the sand? <laughs> Maybe. Let's go inside. Come on. Let's let Haley have some time. <laughs> 